Hey Aries, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You're fed up? Tired? This is a burdensome relationship. This is a lot of stress, anxiety, okay? And you're pretty much done with this, over and done with, all right? You're very defensive, okay? And uh, you're like, back off. You're shutting them out. Gonna block them. But energetically, I feel for a lot of you, you guys are blocking this person out energetically. It's like, you know what? I need to protect myself. I need to defend myself. You're in this defensive position is what I'm getting, okay? Where you're like, you stay away from me, okay? A lot of anger from your side here because you've done, uh, put in a lot of work, a lot of effort, you know, in this connection here. You've taken up the responsibilities of this connection. But uh, it's more like, you know, there's this, this unwantedly became like a lot of emotional stress, okay? It was something that wasn't needed, but you took it out because you probably felt this uh, relationship was a, uh, was a responsibility for you, okay? And it wasn't really yours to carry, but you probably uh, just took up all the work on your own without, uh, you know, the other person being able to help you out with this, okay? This person out here with the King of Cups here, they are emotionally committed to you, but what's the point, right? What's the point? You're already letting go here. You're already guarding yourself up. But yeah, this person here loves you, okay? And then it's that quiet love, okay? So it's like, I love you to the moon and back, but I'm not going to tell you. You're letting go of this relationship, but I'm still not going to tell you how much I love you. Uh, how does Aries view this connection or view the person they're dealing with? Three of Swords, they broke your heart. How does this person view the connection with Aries or view Aries? Ace of Pentacles and Reverse. Yeah. So this person here knows that there was a lack of commitment here, okay, which kind of broke your heart. So you could have been going on in this connection over and over again with a lot of false starts out here. Every time, you know, they turned around, they came back towards you. If there was this in and out connection, on and off connection here, you probably thought of giving this a second chance. And every time you gave it a chance, it broke your heart, okay? There could be a third party situation interfering here. Doesn't have to be a romantic connection, but definitely something uh, interfering externally, okay? which is stopping this connection from coming together here. But there's a lot of pain, a lot of stress, heartache, heart pain, you know, and um, you're constantly uh, thinking about uh, uh, bitter memories is what I'm getting here, but something's cut you through deep. This person out here feels that there's a lack of commitment here and they know that. They know that there's a lack of commitment here. Now, this could be two reasons. Either this person is not ready for marriage or not ready for commitment because there's a lack of planning. There's a lack of structure, okay? This person probably is someone, you know, where you need to tell this person, put your money where your mouth is, all right? Don't try to run before you walk. So this person here could be coming towards you with, okay, I love you, I want you, I want to be with you. And probably they overcommit, okay? May not say it, but in a way where they overcommit, you know? But it's like the energies are very scattered. They doubt themselves too much. Self-doubt is what stops this person from coming towards you and giving you a commitment here, okay? Or then the second thing I can only think of is a financial pressure, okay? Finances could be a big problem between you both here, okay? Maybe this person is financially unstable out here. But otherwise also I feel this person here is very unstable, okay? I mean, they're very, um, they lack stability, security in the relationship and also within themselves. They lack the confidence here. Uh, give me the mutual energy between Aries and the person they're dealing with. Give me the mutual energy between Aries and the person they're dealing with. What is the mutual energy between Aries and the person they're dealing with? Four of Pentacles. You're both shut off. Both of you are shut off. I'm getting a play. I'm getting an energy here where I think both of you all are trying to work on yourselves. You know, the focus is on you. No one's chasing the relationship. Why I'm saying that is because this person out here has love for you. Okay. This person out here has love for you, okay? So they're emotionally very committed to you. You, on the other hand here, you're fed up, giving up on this connection, right? So, so the only thing I'm seeing here is that this person chooses to shut off. You know, the security is stable. It's like you're both protecting your heart chakra. Both of you are protecting yourself from each other. You're protecting yourself because you're like, you know what? I've done this a lot. I've been there, done that. And I'm not putting in any effort here, okay? I'm ready to... You're just breaking under pressure. This is too much pressure for you here. This person out here is still there. Like, I love you, but I'm emotionally stuck. You know what I'm getting? You know what I'm saying? Like emotionally stuck. And they, they have mastered their emotions. So even if this person, like I said, right, loves you so much, they will clearly give you an idea or they'll be so good with portraying that they don't love you at all. 
which is why you're constantly breaking your heart probably like this guy never even liked me or this person never even loved me but right now mutually you're both uh, i think holding on to the connection at the same time being closed off here page of cups see both of y'all want to talk to each other here what's the hold up what is the root of the issue for aries what is the root of the issue for aries and the person they're dealing with what is the root of the issue temperance and reverse yeah both of y'all both of y'all are one of y'all here okay now one thing i'm getting here is first of all someone's an extremist here Okay, so this person here comes in running with a short term solution. Okay, they're not thinking of long term. They're thinking of short term. It's like let's have a quick solution to a long term problem, which does not work. A. Secondly, this person here, whoever this is, right? Whoever this is, you'll know this, Aries. If it's you, it's them, or it's if, if it's both of you. Both of you are coming off as very very uh, impatient. There's a lack of balance here. Both of you all are extreme, or one of this, one of you is very, very as an extremist here. So either they'll completely think of wanting to be with you, but they still won't do anything about it, or then they'll completely, completely withdraw themselves from you. Okay, but whatever this is, this is a lack of balance. This is being too much in a hurry and also impatient here. Okay, this is the problem. You know, either you are being too impatient and you want a resolution. Is it a fucking yes or is it a fucking no? You're not being able to wait for the right time. You're not being able to wait for the universe to come towards you. You know, with the right answers out here, or this is them out here. But the root of the issue is that someone's in a hurry out here, and it's just not going to work out like that. Uh, there could be past patterns being repeated over and over again. So you know what I'm getting here. This person comes towards you. They invest into you. They talk to you. Probably they even physically try to meet you, or you know they want to probably take things to the next level here. But what's happening here is with the death in reverse here. This person does not let an old pattern die. So it's like you know what? <clears throat> I keep re-attempting an exam over and over again instead of changing my method. You know, even if I'm failing in that exam, instead of changing my method of studying, I keep studying the same way, expecting a different result. This person out here keeps pursuing you because they love you very much. They keep coming towards you, wanting to invest into you, wanting to talk to you, but they don't change their ways. They still come towards you with their non-committal ways, which is why you land up nowhere, and which is kind of just driving you nuts and crazy. Okay, I hope that made that sense. All right, what does Aries feel deep down for the person they're dealing with? Of stress, fear, anxiety, bro. You're very, 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 very um, mentally vulnerable right now. You need some time off. You need some time off here. I think this is good, good time for you. I think you feel you need to take a break. So there could be no communication between you both right now. Even if this person's communicating, I think you're just like trying to put this communication on side, put them on a hold, or just like you know what? I need this mental peace right now. But there is a need for mental rest right now from your side. What does this person feel deep down for Aries? What does this person feel deep down for Aries? What does this person feel deep down for Aries? King of Swords. They're very, very head over heart right now. <coughs> this person is going to come back towards you all of a sudden, out of nowhere. Why? Because they've had this aha moment, like what the fuck did I just do? Which they usually keep having. Nothing new, but with the King of Swords, if this person here is right now, uh, even though they have the love for you, right? They want to communicate with you. In their feelings, they feel that they need to be very head over heart. They don't want to get driven by any external factors. They don't want to get driven away by any kind of emotions. They don't want to make a very heart over head decision. They want to stay logical out here. Okay, so. You're coming off as too emotional because you're breaking your heart over and over again here. Okay, you're not talking to them, which is okay, which is fine. But um, with the King of Swords, here, this person here is, uh, you know, I like it because they're getting their shit together. But what I don't like is they're being too logical out here, which actually you should have been. You know, see, they have two very strong cards on their side with the King of Cups and King of Swords here. Both these cards are people who are very mature and they are very balanced. Okay. None of these go off balance out here, okay? Which is why this person is more stronger uh, in their energies than you, okay? Even if I understand there's a lack of commitment here, this person still has a very clear insight, okay? They lack impulsiveness, and look what you're doing with the four of swords. You look at your cards out here, ten of wands. You're exhausted because you're doing things in this relationship that you're not supposed to do. Four of swords. You're so exhausted. Okay. I mean, you could be reaching a point of burnout out here if you don't completely shut this down. And three of swords here. Negative self talk, negative energy, holding on to the past, holding on to resentment, thinking about the words that were said, or thinking about the past memories that hurt you, that cut you through deep. Which is why you're coming off as so defensive right now. Okay, this should have been them, 
but you're the one stressing and they're not even stressing they're not even you know they're not even being emotional right now so if you're expecting any kind of spontaneous action from this person side feel in their feelings this person lacks spontaneousness they won't they are going to take it very slow they are in no rush okay they are going to work out way out the things very very objectively what action will aries take towards this person what action will aries take towards this person <clears throat> ace of wands okay okay all right let's see what action will this person take towards aries what action will this person take towards aries what action will this person take towards Aries? What action will this person take towards Aries? Nine of Wands. Okay, that's a very, very... Um, this person here is kind of uh, almost at the end, okay, of the hurdle out here. This person out here is kind of, uh, you know, holding on. But at the same time here, this person is exhausted. They're tired, okay. The past wounds could be stopping this person from pursuing this relationship okay they're not giving up here there's a lot of resilience a lot of persistence here okay but the battle is not over yet for them okay they're going to keep going they're going to keep maintaining their distance they keep they're, they're fed up but they're going to continue holding on to be as logical as they want ace of wands here from your side here so it looks like you will probably kind of go towards them okay this time around here I feel there are chances that you will go towards them with a brand new beginning. You have a lot of passion for this person, okay? There's a lot of chemistry between you both here, okay? And there are chances this person will just be logical in their communication. So if they communicate with you, they'll be very logical. But you are getting this brand new um, uh, goal, okay? You want probably change. You want travel out here. I want to clarify the Ace of Wands. What's the Ace of Wands here? What's the Ace of Wands here? Eight of Wands. Damn okay so it could also now i'm getting another thing out here either you will go towards you know what let's take one card from the middle of the deck what's the ace of wands and eight of wands what's the ace of wands and eight of wands yeah okay so that's what i thought that was very weird okay so it looks like you are starting a brand new chapter without this person you're letting this person go. There could be a newfound passion that you have. Now, this could be career-wise or this could just be otherwise romantically, okay? Maybe someone stirred your emotions or your passion out here. But there's forward moment from your side. And I feel you're choosing to quickly exit from this person, okay? You're letting this person go here. Whilst this person out here is being so stubborn, so stubborn, okay? They're holding on, you know, from coming towards you. So stubborn out here, okay? And this is all happening because you're probably impatient here. But it looks like you're letting this person go. You're leaving the building. And you're doing it quickly. You know, you're like, I want this now here. Okay. Because now, all of a sudden, you have this newfound um, uh, abundant state of yours. Okay. You probably feel that now you're in a place where you don't need anyone. Okay. You're putting the past in the past. You're probably looking for a more disciplined healthy security romantic relationship okay and i do feel you're come on, coming off as a person who's very very self-sufficient okay maybe you're very focused on your money okay but uh, there's a lot of uh, living in your comfort okay uh, you appreciate what you have you've learned your lessons out here but there's a high level of independence and high abundance coming from your side where you are telling yourself i'm okay on my own okay very self-sufficient energy whereas this person out here is just sitting there being logical out here but exhausted they're very close to ending that cycle and trying to start a new one with you. But I don't know if you'll stick around till then. Give it the best possible outcome. What is the what is the immediate future actually? What is the immediate future for Aries and the person they're dealing with? Three of Wands. Okay, so it looks like your ships may come in with the Three of Wands here. Okay, there's this waiting energy here. I feel this person here... Um, wants a happily ever after with you that's for sure but i think this person here is right now being very very patient as the immediate future which is why like i'm telling you right they will end this cycle here and they will eventually reach a point where they're good where they're going to probably uh do a lot of planning a lot of brainstorming here okay they're going to take that adventure they're going to take that risk okay they would want to grow with you here but there are delays okay i feel you're going to have to wait for your ships to come in here I think they're wanting to move forward towards you. There is a delay here and a reconciliation here, okay? But eventually with the Ten of Cups here, looks like you will get your happily ever after, okay? You will. 
but uh, it's just going to be a, it's just going to be for some time knight of pentacles now see what's happening here is that this person also makes you wait the reason they make you wait is because this person here is more focused on their money their career growth their finances so if you this person is coming in they're coming in they're slow as fuck okay baby steps towards you but the kind of person that you're dealing with is someone here who will always give more importance to uh, career or uh, whatever, uh, someone who masters their finances, right? So they're moving along nicely towards you, okay? But they're more committed to their career or their business rather than relationships. Very steadily growing person, very reliable out here. They will eventually come towards you. But you know, the thing is out here is that they're silently committed to you. You know, like how they're emotionally committed to you, they're silently committed to you, okay? So they'll come back around, you will have your 10 of cups here, your ships will come in, okay? But it's just that there will be... A, a cycle that will repeat itself okay why because again this person is not coming and ready towards you to commit to you but yes there will be um, a cycle that will repeat itself okay this person here is ignoring the inner calling about wanting to be with you and give you what you want so that the relationship can move forward but again it's doing the same thing expecting different results here so they are coming back around here but <clears throat> your ships are coming in okay but just don't expect too much here i think by the time they come back you're already out you're already out. You're already out.